Hi everyone, Dr. David Clark. Today I'm going to be explaining to you why there are only really two kinds of thyroid problems. And the first kind of thyroid problem that you can have is a quantity problem. Now a quantity problem means that you have an issue with uh, uh, TSH that's too high or a T4 or a T3 that's too low. And that's the, the typical thing that people think of when they think of a thyroid problem. They think about a problem with the quantity of the hormones involved in normal thyroid function. So if you don't have enough hormones, we call that hypothyroid. And if you have too many, we call that hyperthyroid. Now, hypothyroidism is much more common than hyperthyroidism. And blood tests are the ones that can really tell you about the quantities. So, you know, your doctor can run a TSH and a free T4, and you can get a pretty good idea of whether or not you have enough thyroid hormones floating around in your body. Now, that's the first kind of problem. That's a quantity problem. Now, a lot of people have quantity problems with their hormones, and those are the people that are taking Synthroid or Levothyroxine or Armor or Nature Thyroid and those kind of things. Now, the most important thing you have to know about the quantity problem is that the number one cause of hypothyroidism, the quantity problem, is Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition that is very, very, very problematic to have because not only will it cause a quantity problem, it can cause the second kind of thyroid problem, which is a usage problem. Now, remember, blood tests can show you how many hormones are floating around, but the blood test can't tell you if you're using those hormones. Using those hormones is the responsibility of your thyroid hormone receptors. And a thyroid hormone receptor, those are in every cell, every cell you have. And they're like a little antenna that's waiting for you know, thyroid hormone to come by and dock and tell the DNA of whatever cell that is to tell it what to do. The problem is those thyroid hormone receptors can be negatively affected. They can be down-regulated so that they're not very active. They can actually be reduced in numbers or they can just be blocked. And the number one thing that we know can block those receptors and mess with them are cytokines. Now, cytokines are immune system messengers. So uh, the easiest way to think about this is inflammation. Inflammation is the number one thing that can mess with those receptors. So here's what can happen. You can have normal quantities on your blood work, but not be using them. And so you're going to feel like and function like you have not enough. So you're going to have constipation, brain fog, weight gain, hair loss, menstrual problems, depression, even though your TSH looks okay and you're taking Synthroid. Now, I want to meld the two worlds for you. The number one cause of quantity problems is Hashimoto's, that autoimmune condition. Roughly 9 out of 10 people who have been diagnosed with low thyroid or hypothyroidism, they actually have Hashimoto's. Now, you may not have ever been tested for it because your endocrinologist or whoever's uh, treating you for that, they really wouldn't do anything different if they found out you had Hashimoto's. But for me, it makes all the difference. I see probably 30 Hashimoto's patients a month, new Hashimoto's patients, that are taking medication who don't have a quantity problem but still feel just like they do. They still have all those low thyroid symptoms. And what every one of those patients almost invariably turns out to have is a receptor problem because their Hashimoto's isn't controlled. Hashimoto's is an inflammatory problem. And if you don't control Hashimoto's and just taking Synthroid and Levothyroxine doesn't do that, then you have lots of side effects. And some of the inflammatory side effects of Hashimoto's, you get a double whammy because it messes with those receptors. So Hashimoto's likes to create a quantity problem and a usage problem. So it's very, very, very important that you're working with someone who understands what I've just explained to you. Now, unfortunately, taking levothyroxine or armor, one of those things, that's really only a, about, you know, 10% of the solution. It's important because some people, you know, you have to take it, but that's not the, you know, the be-all, end-all for most people. Because if it was, I wouldn't have as many people walking in here every month, women, uh, who still have low thyroid symptoms. So it's important to know not only if you have a quantity problem, but do you have a usage problem. Now, unfortunately, there aren't any lab tests that you and I can do that can tell us about what the receptors are doing. But what is the better test is your symptoms. I mean, if, you're, if you had depression, uh, uh, weight gain, constipation, hair loss, all those kinds of problems, you got diagnosed hypothyroid, you got given the medication, 
and you still have those same symptoms, but your TSH and free T4 look, look okay, well, then you probably have a usage problem. The trick is, why do you have the usage problem? Well, it's probably because you have uncontrolled and untreated adequately Hashimoto's. And there's a lot of stuff you can do for that. So please make sure that you're working with someone who can recognize what we just talked about and knows how to investigate and find out if your Hashimoto's is controlled and what to do about it.